Hi guys, I hope you are well. Welcome to my channel, Hibs here. So today's video, as you can see by the title, it is a January favourites. So I have quite a few items to go through, so I will try and be quick. But yeah, let's just get into the video. So the first items I wanted to talk about were these uh, shampoos that I received a while back, and I really have been liking it. It is the uh, L'Oreal Vive Extraordinary Oil um, Oil Nourishing Kind of Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I actually really like this, especially when you use it with the conditioner, your hair does feel soft and nourished and healthy um, and you know the next day you don't wash your hair, you know like I tend to try and wash my hair alternative days, um, I don't have that residue on my scalp which is what I really don't like, especially with moisturising I've noticed kind of shampoos and stuff, it, that tends to happen, but this doesn't, it is a really nice shampoo i prefer the one with a bit bigger i finished the other bottle hence i have a humongous bottle now um the i prefer this nourishing shampoo more than the this one um just because if i do not use conditioner um this one kind of uh it makes my hair a little bit dry so i tend to kind of you know try and use it uh use this one you know with the conditioner as well but um, otherwise I really like um, this kind of line so far, it's just been really suiting my hair and my sister's also using it as well, so thumbs up. Oh, I'll link in also uh, the first impressions that I did on the shampoo and conditioner as well. So the next item um, is just, I kind of got this recently, but it is the White Citrus uh, from Bath & Body Works uh, Fragrance Mist. And I really like this scent because it is citrusy, but it does have a hint of sweetness to it. It is refreshing, so it, it's not too overpowering as well. So I have been really just using the, this one out of the four that I bought. So I will try this month or the month of February to use something different, but I really like this fragrance mist so far. The other item I wanted to talk about actually from Bath & Body Works is the Winter Candy Apple. I have just been really burning this non-stop. I prefer this one than the um, Tis The Season one. Just, I don't know why, it's just, it's, they're both really yummy kind of candles, kind of homey Christmassy candles, but I just really like this, and if you know from the past videos that I've done, that I prefer citrus refreshing kind of scents, but this just, it's such a yummy kind of <laughs> scent to it. Um, I, yeah, so I just really like it. It does have a hint of, um, kind of like a citrusy, ap not apple, uh, sorry, orangey kind of scent to it, so it is still kind of... <laughs> so yeah, so I've really been liking this candle and I've actually been burning this uh, a lot more. Um, so yeah, I will also link the review I did on the candles as well in the de description below. Okay, now on to the makeup products. Um, I tried to use different ones this month and I do want to also quickly apologise if I'm trying to speed through the videos just because I have, like I said, quite a lot to talk to through so I don't want this video to be too long but I will like I said link any valid um, videos that need to be linked in the description below and I will do a blog post of uh, swatches and stuff like that for you guys as well so do check that out so the first item I wanted to kind of talk about was um, this Pays Cosmetics blush in number 48 I believe and you will kind of think it's a little bit strange like that the first initial thought I was were, thought was it's a little bit strange in the pan it is a shimmery blush but not too shimmery so you can still use it if yeah my camera will focus it is the color is kind of off but it is actually a pinky beigey kind of blush and it is so beautiful on the face it's such a natural kind of flush of color um, and yeah, I really like this blush, so I have literally been using it all this month, um, whenever I want to just, you know, add a bit more, just when I want to add a little bit more colour uh, to my face. So yeah, I really like this, and the fact that it has argan oil, it doesn't really, you know, dry your skin out, and um, it, it doesn't look too powdery. It has that scent of argan oil to it as well. Kind of sticking to face products, um, I've kind of mentioned this before and it is the Illa Masca Hydrovel Primer. I really like this primer because I have dry skin. I have dry skin more on my nose, like around my nose more than anything and it just really helps to, you know, let my foundation sit a lot better. So I really like this um, and I, I mean this is this, I'm still on the first tube so a little bit goes a long way 
And yeah, so I'm hoping once I finish the two samples that I have, I have like two of these, that I will uh, maybe purchase this. I really like it. Uh, the next item is, I have also mentioned again before, and it is the Alnoya Natural um, Cherry Lip Balm. Um, I, I mean, I've been trying to use up my Baby Lips Quenched, but I just really prefer this one. It is moisturizing, it lasts longer. And yeah, I just, if I don't want to wear anything, you know, that day, so I just, you know, chuck on this lip balm. But I have also been using the Baby Lips Cherry uh, in Cherry Me as well, just for a tint if I just want um, just like a tint of color. So yeah, so those are the two I would say I mentioned. Uh, so yeah, so this lip balm I've just been really reaching for. The next and last items are these three products from NYX. Um, I have the it lists lip gloss sets from uh, NYX the both so there's one in naturals and one in uh, pink so I bought these a long time ago I haven't been really using it so I thought I'd you know try these out again um, this month so I've been using the butter lip it's gloss eclair, and I really like the scent to it and it, it is of course like a sweet candy smell but it is really nice um, it tends to wash me out if I do put a little bit too much on but uh, just you know the correct amount and it looks really nice like a pale kind of pink to it the next two items are the soft matte lip creams um, I tend to put lip balm on anyway underneath but these really don't dry out my lips at all um, they are really super pigmented so I have it, them in Antwerp and Istanbul and Istanbul is like there is a, a slight variation bit. depending on your lip color and uh, natural lip color and um, skin tone so this is like Antwerp's like a I mean, it's a bit off in on camera, but it's like an orangey, pinky, coral color on me. And it's a really nice color. I really thought I wouldn't like it. And um, when I first tried it on, I didn't really like it. But I thought, let's give it another go, you know, like a second chance. So yeah, so I've been really liking these three lip products uh, this month. So that's so. it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, this video would have been a little bit longer because I had a bit more to talk about this month. Um, and yeah, if I've left anything out, I will put it up on my blog for you guys. So please do check that out for swatches and stuff like that. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.